very happy to be here with you. I'm Amparo Quinones, and I'm an educational services consultant for Oxford University Press. Okay, so let's start the session. It is important to mention that Oxford University Press is a department of the University of Oxford. And of course, we further the university objective of excellence in research, research scholarship, and education by publishing worldwide. All right, but what are we going to do in this session? It is important to know what we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk a little bit about Oxford Discover, how it works. Also, we're going to have a unit walkthrough throughout uh, the CPT, which is the classroom presentation tool. And we're going to work also with some of the extra resources available for teachers. All right, at the end of the session, we're going to have a Q, uh, a session for, or a space for asking questions. However, if throughout the session you have a question, please feel free to open your microphone to, or ask a question in the chat box, all right? So let's start the session. Okay, Oxford Discover Math. It is important to mention that Oxford Discover Math is a math series for international primary English teachers. The principle of Oxford Discover Math is that math is not just a set of rules of procedures reserved for specialists, rather than an exploration about math, creativity, and fun. It is important to mention that throughout Oxford Discover Math, the students will be learning lots of math, but in a vivid way throughout different activities. But, however, it is a easy methodology for teachers. Oxford's Discover Maths it starts with an A1 English level and achieves a B2 level according to the CEFR. It means that our students are equipped with the necessary elements to work with this book. The slogan for Oxford Discover Maths is engage with the world throughout Oxford Discover Math. It means that students will be learning maths by using everyday situations and materials that will make this learning fun, vivid, and engaging. Then, it has a similar scope and sequence to SEP program. Oxford Discover Maths engages your students throughout interesting questions and practical activities. And of course, it meets the needs or EFL, English as a first language students throughout accessible language and language support. It means that we can use these methodologies if, like if our students were native speakers. However, it provides all the necessary elements to understand English as a second language. Something very important and remarkable is that it supports non-specialist teachers. It means that we, as teachers, have the necessary support, even though we are not math specialists. We can have the ability to work with this book. Okay. These are the components for the series. The, well, not the components, but the books for the students in this series. We have a book, of course, we know from book one up to book number six. And this is the package for teachers. It is a very flexible package for teachers. The package includes detailed teacher's books for every activity and lesson. So this is very supportive as us as teachers. There's a teacher's book or teacher's pack for first and second grade. Another one for third and fourth grade. And finally, one for fifth and sixth grade. This is very supportive. Why? Because if we are giving a class in second grade, we have all the materials related to first grade. And this is going to give us reference on all the, about the students previous knowledge. That is why it is we decided that this methodology must have the two teachers' books together, first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth and sixth grade. 
It is helpful for further reference and to check our students' previous knowledge. All right. In teachers' resources, we also, oh, sorry, I was not mentioning the other resources we have for teachers. We also have available the classroom presentation tool. What is it? Maybe you remember, you know it in a different way. You can name it also CPT or projectable book. Inside a projectable book, you have all the answers to all the activities inside a student's book. Don't worry, because a little bit later, we're going to be working with it. Then what do we have? We also have for teachers. We also have a website uh, for teaching resources. These resources are different activities to the ones that we have inside the teacher's book and also inside the classroom presentation tool. These teaching, extra teaching resources can support us. Maybe they can be used for those students who have a little bit behind the rest of the class as a review for all the class, or also for the, a challenging, more challenging activities for students in the class. Another idea could be for those students, or, or they can also be used, by the way, for exams, as, as everyday exams or review exams too. All right. This is what the way in which you will find these resources in teacher resource in the teacher resource center. Okay, they are very easy activities related, or they match with the activities you are doing in your book. Okay, let's take a little bit about the methodology. The methodology that we are using in Oxford Discover Maths is inquiry based learning. We always start with a big question. It opens students' curiosity and gets new, and that's the way in which your students get new knowledge. But it goes and it has relation, and the methodology we're using in this book is called inquiry-based learning. Okay, let's see. It is important to mention that the methodology has five stages. These five stages are very simple and, of course, engaging. The first one is engage. The first step is engage. In engagement, students have the big questions. And of course, they have visual input and making connections with what they know. So there's here in this stage, the students activate prior knowledge. And when they activate prior knowledge, from there, they can start getting to, uh, to acquire new knowledge. Then, we have discovered the next step is explore, uh, discover and exploration. Here, students have the possibility to explore might ideas throughout varied activities. It's like the introduction. Okay, so the students have activated prior knowledge. Now they are getting introduced into the new topic, but in little bits, right? In, in, in a very easy way. The third stage or the third, uh, yes, the third stage is explore an explanation. Here the students explain, they can be the teachers and they can, uh, and then the teacher can be the one that gives for their explanation. Sometimes in the, the second step number two, where the students discover and explore the new knowledge. In step number three, the students will be able to explain and to start in their minds, they're getting, acquiring the new knowledge and understanding it. Here is where the teacher is going to take lots of, uh, lots of interest in the class. Why? Because the teacher is getting to know how deeper she needs to give the explanation. Maybe there's no need to further explanation because the students have already understood the, the topic throughout the variety of activities explore in a step number three, number two. Then when we get or the students get to stage number four, they connect and elaborate. Here is where the students apply what they have learned and be new math concepts. Right now, this is the time where the students start reflecting. Oh, my God, what did I learn? How did I learn it? I, students always learn throughout exploring, throughout getting in touch with real things, with reality. 
And here in stage number four, the students have the possibility to say, OK, I understood this and I can apply this into real world. It is important to mention that by using this methodology, students explore knowledge, get new knowledge, but they put it in practice in real life situations. It is not a matter of asking problems or filling in problems about Mary and John. It is putting them in real life situations. They can measure water, a glass of water, a bottle of water. They can drink even, even the, uh, the milk or milkshake they have in the morning. They can measure it. They can ve uh, verify colors. They can verify different things, but inside real life situations. Stage number five goes to review and evaluation. Here, students have the possibility to assess their new knowledge and math skills. Here is where the teachers are going to have, we as teachers have the eyes wide open to check how much the students achieve throughout the learning process. It is important to mention that not all the students will have the same outcome. That is, as if we were giving a grammar class, not all the students will have the same outcome. However, all of them must have achieved new knowledge. All right, let's continue. Let's start with the unit walkthrough in the CPT. OK, give me an opportunity to share a different screen. And here I go. Here, where are we going to explore the CPT? OK, the unit walkthrough. Unit walkthrough, we are going to explore it throughout the CPT. Remember that the CPT is the classroom presentation tool or projectable tool. OK, what are we going to do here? I'm going to turn off my camera for a better resolution. Here we are going to go directly to. The web page to Oxford Learner Bookshelf where we are going to get the code for our books. Remember that you have the code to get connected or to download your projectable book inside your teacher's book. If you don't have it, don't worry. Ask the educational consultant to provide you a code to get your uh, projectable book. Once you have it, you can get an account, have an account, have a username. Your username is always your email address and you create your own password. However, I already have an account so I can go directly to my book and this is how it looks. It's opening. Right, let's wait a second. Once I have already or I'm connected inside my Oxford Learners bookshelf, I'm going to look for my book. Let's see, it is math. I'm going to look for it. And I have here my math books. All right, here I have from book number one to book number six. We are going today exploring book number three. OK, let's see. Let's see. I would like to know, teachers, can you see my screen with a book? Yes. All right, very good. OK, let's see. Let's start by opening up it with a book. OK, here we have book number three. OK, let's start exploring it. OK, it is important to mention that at the upper part of our projectable book, we have go to page. These icons, if we open it, it will take you directly to the page we want to go. Remember, in this book, we have 10 units and we can choose the unit we want to work with. All right. OK, let's ex start exploring the scope and secrets. OK. Here, as you can see, we have the learning goals and the key vocabulary. But maybe you might say, OK, I cannot look at it because the letters are too small. Don't worry. We can go to zoom in. And we can 
check the book or what we want to check in a bigger format. Here, as you can see, we have the scope and sequence. Remember, each book has 10 units. And it is important to mention that throughout the school year, we work 10 months, months, so it means we use one unit per month. Then, here in the scope and sequence, we can see the learning goal. We have the place and value, estimation and rounding, and numbered sequences. Every single activity is mentioned here. And here, that is not all. We also have the key vocabulary, the words that our students will be facing throughout the unit. This is a simple book. However, if our students find a difficult word, like for example, let's find, look for a one word, worth, let's go. We can, maybe my students might say, Miss, I don't know the meaning of the word worth. Don't worry. Remember, we have a toolbar at the upper part of our projectable book. We can open it and write here the word worth, one of the words that I'm, my students do not know. So here I have, the, I can go to the dictionary and it will display the word worth. It is not all. It gives me the meaning. It gives me examples. And of course, my students are getting to listen to the pronunciation. Okay, so and here we have this dictionary that is very useful. And of course, it not, uh, it's giving me if it is an adjective, a noun, what is it? So it classifies as any other dictionary. So this is a very easy feature to work with once we are working with the CPT. Now I hide it by clicking here again. Now let's suppose I want to go. Now I want to go to a different page because we have already checked what the scope and sequence is about. So let's go to your book, this page. All my students will have this page in their books. And also I need it in my projectable book. What is it? It's a simple explanation on how the book is going to work. Get to know Oxford Discover Math, the kind of exercise we can find, and of course, how we can work with a book. For example, it says in this squares, your book tells what you are going to learn. This is going to happen in every unit. We have the preview for the activity, for the unit, and engage. They, they are explaining us that it introduces the unit's mathematical ideas. And then at the right side, the question mark in will indicate you will think and discuss with your students. All right, but let's start with the unit. Let's explore, let's say, unit six, shapes and geometry. Okay, I don't need my uh, go to page again. So I click here and it automatically disappears. Okay, what do we have here in this unit six? We have shapes and geometry. This is the opening page. As you can see here, we have the learning goals. For example, I want to highlight the learning goals. I click in uh, draw and highlight, and I can sh use a color, let's say purple. And now I am underlining or circling the learning goals. Every opening page has the learning go goals. It states the what the students will learn in the unit. Then we have engage here. I'm going to underline it with green engage. Engage introduces the unit's mathematical ideas. So it is like the first time where our students are going to work with a new topic. And then, of course, we cannot leave it out. We have, I'm going to circle it with a blue, light blue. And here we have the big question. The big question is the activities that the students are getting in the existing knowledge of the topic and identify what they would like to learn about the topic. For example, here we have 
What type of shapes can you find around, around us? They are surrounded or we are surrounded by different kinds of shapes. So we are introducing the students into the topic at the same time. And they are, of course, reviewing the previous knowledge. OK, so this is what we're going to find inside the opening page. And I will just show you how to use draw and highlight. It is important to mention that maybe I don't want to have these circles and lines. So what I'm going to do here, I have an eraser. I take the eraser and I can erase the green line I mark here, but it will take a little bit longer. So what can I do now? I can go to the basket bin and ask to remove all what I have drew, drew here. So and the, um, they're asking me, are you sure? Yes, okay. And everything disappears. So this is a very useful feature because we can show students what we want. We can highlight the, anything we require. All right. So let's hide this and let's continue with next page. Now we can go to next page and it is discovered. OK, here in the first part, the students are going to find or they're going to discover in, of course, introducing the math skills and concept. They're going to start getting the new concepts done. And of course, here we have the keywords, as you can see here, I'm going to highlight them. The keywords, the keywords are those words that they require. Here in Discover, the students are getting the new concept. They're introducing the new concept. As you can see, there are many activities that the students can be performing, they can be doing. And of course, me as a teacher can work with them throughout the CPT. I am here using my marker to work meet with my students. It says draw a pentagon. I'm not drawing a pentagon. However, I'm using my markers to work with it. OK, so this is the objective. We have the objectives quite well stated in the page. OK, let's go to next page. OK, here in next page, our students will start Exploring, they're going, in this case, they're going to draw deeper in quadrilaterals. They're starting to put in practice and up to a certain point what they are learning. So it's more practice for them. Let's go to next page. It is again, more practice and more practice. When they are here, we have the explore section. Explore in explore section, students practice the skills learned in the previous discover section. They have already they have already learned the definition for for quadrilateral, pentagon, and all those shapes they need to learn. They have already traced them. They have played with them. Now they need to explore it. They need to start practicing the skills they have learned. And that is exactly what we are going to do or the students are going to do in this page. It is important to mention that I have here a feature, hide and show. Maybe I want my students to focus on this. This is an example of an irregular quadrilateral. So I can make it, hide this, this part, so that the students focus on this specific example. Maybe I don't want them to check the definition that might be here hidden. So I have this feature that will support me to hide this. All right. So this is an example of an irregular quadrilateral. I can ask the students, what is a quadrilateral? Do you remember? And they will be giving me their own definitions. They maybe they will use the objects they have around them, but they are not checking what a quadrilateral is. And maybe. And now I can tell them, yes, you're right. And I make this disappear. I hide it. Now I can continue working with my students. All right. OK, let's explore next page. 
Next page, next page is also part of explore. More practice. Here we can find materials that the students will be using. Maybe they're going to be using, um, maybe they can have uh, the their book, their their uh, the place where they keep their pencils. They, they are very simple materials that are the students are going to use in Discover. Here I, we have the list, for example, we have here the list of materials that the students will be using. OK, this material that the students will be using in Discover and Explore, they are very simple materials. Sometimes they are empty boxes. Sometimes they are pencils. They are cases. Their pencil cases. So it's the stuff that they might have around them or at home. So, and the keywords, we are also providing you the keywords you require for the to make the, the learning easier for the students. All right. So let's explore next page. Next page is where the students are going to do something. Right? What are they going to do? They in this case they are going to have or they're going to be. 3D shapes and these 3D shapes are very easy to be done because they already have the materials and then they we are providing them the explanation they require to do them. So it is very easy. Teachers, can you please do me the favor to turn off your microphones? Thank you very much. All right, then let's continue with next page. Then here we have do and complete again. What different way in which the students are discovering and practicing the new knowledge? By now, the students we have already given them a picture. Then they will they have discovered new knowledge. They have uh, made they have made drawings. They have already made three D fragments, and now they're cutting out shapes. So five different ways in which the activity is presented. So it, we are providing all our students a learning opportunity. Here, more tracing. And then in next plate in Explore, the students are even having more practice on shapes. So as you can see here, we have at least six different activities for the students to perform. And of course, this is providing all my students a learning opportunity. OK, then we have discover in discover. The question in think fosters the students reflection about what they know and have learned. This is a self reflection time and connect. They can connect all they have learned into the real life situations, all right? And this is the time where we as teachers get to know our how much the students have learned. This is self-reflection for the students, so they get to know what they learned, and no matter how, but they learned something. All right, then review. Review page is very important. Why is it very important? Because it's going to put the students into a real context so that they can put all they have learned into doing something. All right. Then we have this is part of the review. Easy review and this review part could also be used as part of their um, of their grading. This review can be part of their grading. And of course, in review, students put in practice their learning. OK, let's see. Then we start with a different unit. As you can see, we have lots and lots of activities to work in every unit, but I have not show you or I have not finished showing you the bar that we have available for uh, in the classroom presentation tool or in projectable book. We also have a high, uh, we, I have already shown you high and show, but I'm missing notes. I can have notes here. We can have audio notes. The audio notes are very useful because I can be recording 
something or I can ask, please, Carlos, can you tell me what do we have to do tomorrow morning? And maybe we can be recording. I press the button and Carlos can be saying, tomorrow we have to check homework page number five. So we record Carlos' voice and next day when we open our book, the, the voice note will be there. We know it's like a reminder for us of, for the activities that we, can, we have to do. In this case, check homework, right? And um, this is not my voice. This is Carlos' voice. It's one of my students. And once I don't need this voice note, I can erase it by clicking here in the wastebasket. And it automatically disappears. It cannot disappear now because I don't have any, I haven't recorded any. We have also notes, text notes. Text notes are like this one. They are sticky notes. This is sticky notes. I can write here homework, check, homework, page 34. Or I can also write, check Mario's, project. So check Mario's project. Next day I open my book. I can have this note done so that uh, it's like a reminder for me as a teacher. If it's done, I can mark it with different colors, a green, uh, orange, green, or purple, or it's kind of purple. Okay, so if I don't need this note anymore, I can put it I can click here and it automatically disappears. So this is the classroom presentation tool, the projectable tool that we have inside the Oxford Learners Bookshelf. Then once I have already finished using my projectable book, I only click here and save and close so that I can have all my books, all the notes and answers kept and I can go back again to this page. Now, let me show you another feature that we have for you, okay? Let me share a different screen for you. I'm going to share a different screen, okay? Let's go, let me check it. I'm going to share here. Okay. Let's see. Can you see? My, okay. Here we are in Oxford Teachers Club. Here inside Oxford Teachers Club, we have a teacher site with resources for Oxford Discover. Math book. I will share in a second. Let me copy it. I will share in the chat box the link where you can go to those resources. Here, what do we have in teacher side? We have teachers. Um, we have. Let me show you a bit. Okay. Can you, okay, we have Oxford Discover Math resources, okay? Here I can click in Oxford Discover Math resource sheet one, and it will show me some resources that we have for you. Then I can go back again, and I have resources for book number two. I can download them, I can edit them, I can add more exercises, we have a variety of resources for each book. All right, and I have just share the link where you can find them. All right, so let's see teachers, let me go back and present this. All right, let's see, let me open my camera. It's easier, okay. It's time for questions. 
Tell me, teachers, do you have any question? Do you have any doubt about Oxford Discover Maths, its methodology, the CPT, teachers' resources, extra resources, and Oxford Teachers Club? It is time to, you can ask questions. You can open your microphones or ask for questions in the chat box. Let's check if somebody is writing a question in the chat box. Questions, you can open your microphones and your cameras too now. This is the time I have my, I think I have my camera open, yes. Let's see, no questions, teachers. All right, no questions. Okay, if there are no questions, please remember we're Oxford University Press and we're always working for you. If you have any doubt, please, please feel free to ask the education, your educational consultant for any doubt you may have. All right, if no questions, thank you very much. It was a pleasure being here with you in the session and hope you enjoy the beginning of this next school year. Okay, so let's stop the recording.